Okay, shalom, shalom, kwami asala, kohlo yawa basim yawa shai, mahashim, makachodash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And again, we go off into these. Like hey, they, they get repetitious, man, but we got to bring it out as we seeing it, you know, as we scrolling through the news, because these types of um, skirmishes, like these types of things right here, they're adding on to the wars, rumors of wars. You know, one of the things that Yahweh spoke of. OK, it says um, Japan scrambles jets <laughs> at the Russian Chinese warplanes near airspace doing quad. Hey, that's hey, that's cold, man. It says a Chinese 8-6 bomber flies over East China Sea. In this handout picture taken by Japan Air Self Defense Force and released by the Joint Chief Joint Staff Office of the Defense Ministry of Japan. Uh, okay, so this just happened today. <laughs> it says Japan scrambles jets at the Russian and Chinese warplanes near the airspace on Tuesday, when Tokyo was hosting the leaders of the Quad grouping of countries that includes the United States. <laughs> defense ministry oh my goodness man because you know um biden is over there basically he done a little um I'm, I'm, i know he was there yesterday i'm not sure if he's still in japan or whatever but he was in south korea he's kind of doing that little tour right now and they, they man russia and china they they see america as being weak right now while russia is is dogging out ukraine china is basically going to run off into um taiwan man and, and they, 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 they linked up, man. They have a common enemy, which is, which is these damn Edomites here in America, the so-called white man here in America. It says Tokyo conveyed grave concerns to both Russia and China through diplomatic channels. He character, characterized the incident as a lot, as a likely provocation, both by both Beijing and Moscow, on the day when U.S. President Joe Biden, Indian Prime Minister. Narendra Modi and Australia's newly elected leader, Anthony Albanese, were meeting in Tokyo. Ain't got no respect for y'all. <laughs> Russia don't have no respect for, um, for, for Biden, man. That damn president of China don't have no respect for Biden. They see America as being weak, and all the other nations are too. Because if America was so bad like how they claim to be, they're so proud to be Americans... Why ain't they take their asses over there in Russia like how they be over there in all these third world countries? Why you ain't why you ain't go over there and take over Russia like you you went in, and, and you was in damn Afghanistan for 20 years? Go into Russia. They already know that that's a different type of fight, you see? And, and they don't want no part. They don't want no smoke with Russia, man. And they don't want no smoke with Russia and um, China at the same time. It don't even make no sense. But they're spreading themselves thin. That's how you know this is modern day Rome. This is how the Roman Empire went down. Okay, it says, we believe the fact that this action was taken during the Quad Summit makes it more pro provocative than in the past, he said. Because they've always been doing that. But yeah, that is provocative with um, the American president being there. They just like, man, fuck it. <laughs> we gonna, hey, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna basically just take a dump on you right here. It says, the, um, the two Chinese warplanes flew over the sea of Japan from the East China Sea and were then joined by two Russian warplanes for a flight together towards the East China Sea. Man, that is insane. Hey, we hey, we almost there, man. We, hey, we World War III is pretty much, it's already popping. I'm telling you, we're living in the last days, these last prophecies that's got to happen, they're about to happen, you know, because, hey, <laughs> you're going into um the monkey business, what they're calling it, that new pestilence, that monkey business, we'll call it that, you know. Then they want to put that grain of rice in you. They want to put that, that handheld device in your ass. You already know what that is, you know, that Revelation 13 and the 16. But, it, hey, them the last prophecies that's got to pop off before our Lord come, basically, man. Give or take a couple of other things that's playing out. Um, Let me see. It says, later, the two Chinese warplanes were replaced by another pair believed to be Chinese, which then flew with the Russians on a long flight towards the Pacific Ocean, he said. The Russian reconnaissance plane also flew over the open sea from the northern island 
of Hokonda, okay, okay, Japan main island, he said, okay, none of the aircraft entered into Japan's airspace, but still they ain't got to enter into the airspace. You see what I'm saying? You know, that, that's, that's close enough. That's close enough to make you think. That's close enough to make you wonder like, hey, what the hell going on here? That's close enough to show you, hey, look, we, gonna, we, we in your backyard playing. Just like how you want to run. And you know Russia already is like, and, and, and it's the same way because America is in Russia's backyard, front yard, and, and, and damn near, you know, just got them surrounded. Just like how they have, um, um, you know, trying to come off into, um, you know, basically China. I mean, yeah, uh, Taiwan. That's, that's, China, that's China's backyard. In the U.S., the so-called white man got military um, 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 stations, basically, in all these 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 nations' backyards, and they don't expect these people to, you know, group up together, you know, so to speak. That that just makes common sense. Hey, look, we got a common enemy. Let's get down <laughs> for real. Okay, it says Russia and China both confirmed they conducted a joint patrol. So they telling you straight up, yeah, we done it. Damn it, what you gonna do about it? Russia's defense ministry said the patrol lasted 13 hours over the Japanese and East China Seas. The exercise was part of an annual military cooperation plan, China's defense ministry said. But hey, they, they, they timing is beautiful, right? Separately, South Korea's military said it scrambled fighters after at least four Chinese and four Russian warplanes entered its air, air defense zone on Tuesday. <laughs> and you know, of course, South Korea is an ally. Of um uh, of America and Japan as an ally of America, and you know America don't do no more cause discord among brethren, man, because all those are actually pe people, man. They're, they're relatives. South Korea and North Korea, same people, but America went over there, separated them, got them, got them, bordered off and fighting against each other. In the meanwhile, you know America setting up they setting up camp on one side. See the so-called white man is that 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 guy that causes discord, and that's one of the things that the Lord hate. Is a person that causes discord among brethren. That's just like China and Taiwan. China and Taiwan, they're the same people. But what did America do? They separated that bitch down the middle. Now they're in Taiwan's um, um, district with, you know, war jets and all kinds of help sitting right on the borders basically of China. You think them people don't, you think they liking that? It's the same thing with China and Ukraine. I mean, on Russia and Ukraine. Same people sitting right there with each other. But what did America do? Cause discord among brethren, man. And that's that's what they're best at. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. I was just going into that the other day, but it's nothing to bring it back up. That's in um go to the book of Proverbs, chapter six. Because that's one of the things that the Lord hates. And all these things that's being named off in here that the Lord hates, man, actually is um is 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 Esau Edom, the so-called white man, man. They, they're, they're experts at it. I'm gonna start from verse 16. Proverbs 6 and 16. These six things do the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. That's, that's them. This is what they do all day long. They're experts at this, man. <laughs> the proud look. No one's more prouder than these damn Americans, man. A lying tongue. Nobody lies like how they lie. And hands that shed innocent blood. That's all they've ever done since they've been a country. Shed innocent blood, man. First off, by coming here and doing what they done to the so-called Native American Indians. Then coming to the West Coast of Africa and snatching up the Negroes. Doing them all kinds of dirty. Verse 18, and heart that divides with wicked imaginations. That's them all day too. Feet that be swift and running into mischief. Running to mischief. That's them all day too. Experts at it. A false witness that speaketh lies. Experts at it. And he that sow of discord among brethren. And that's what they do. They even done that with, with everybody that they come across, man. They, they have divide and conquering down to a science, man. They put the lady against the man, the man against the ladies, the children against the adults, lighter skinned um, um, uh, uh, Israelites against the darker skinned Israelites, which that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I didn't mention that um, because we are the children of Israel. But he knew to... to, to Scatter us all up and put us all against each other. Puerto Ricans against the Haitians. <laughs> you know, Jamaicans against, you know, it's just because we're all the children of Israel. They're the smallest nation basically on the planet, really, in reality. They're really the minority, but they'll tell you they're, they're the majority because they don't do nothing but fucking lie. But that discord among brethren, like I said, 
They cause discord amongst the South Koreans and North Koreans, Taiwanese and the Chinese, Russians and the Ukrainians, and, and a whole bunch of other countries, man. They've been doing that since they've been a country. And people are starting to figure it out. So <laughs> why the hell not would China and Russia get together? Why would they not get together? They, they're seeing the weakness of America. This place is trash, man. What else we got here? But I just wanted to just, you know, kind of just touch on this. Isn't it, you know, Salakia. Man, I kind of lost it. Anyway, the point is made. You see what it is. But I'll grab on just one more. Because, see, we're supposed to be watching out for these things, man. Yahweh Shai told us to be, um, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai told us to be circumspect. Um, what do we want to get? Let's get this Ecclesiasticus. Because this is big, man. It may seem like it's small, you know, but, hey, man, these, these small things are really big, man. Because this is going to make up the bigness of what's about to happen out here, man. Ecclesiasticus 5 and 5 and 15, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. And, then, you know, hey, this may be, like I said, to some it may be small, but to us it's big. <laughs> because these things must happen before that third world want, that third world's war is, is completely in motion, man. And we're praying for it, man, because the downfall of America must happen before we can go into the kingdom, man, and, 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 and you know, <laughs> rule a righteous kingdom and be from under the ruling thumb of these, these fucking bloodthirsty ass Edomites, man. These so-called white people, man. For real. Matter of fact, let's get, let's get that second address real quick. Second address nine, I'm start for one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the time of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's going on, man. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, what we just had a, well, we didn't have one, but it's earthquakes all over the world. It was an earthquake um, just the other day that, you know, supposed to have been with um, tsunami um, warnings and things of that nature. Um, it says an uproars of the people in the world. And that's you definitely starting to see uproars of the people, but you're going to see a lot more of that because people are going to start to be fucking hungry as hell out here soon. Gas prices through the roof. You know, you're going to have your January 6th uh, uh, <laughs> so-called white people running around with their fucking flags, you know, with their with their, you know, all armied up, geared up. They're malicious, you know, uproar and going trying to go against the damn government because they're tired of and especially Biden. They, they're just sick and tired of Biden. These, these, the, the Republicans, the so-called Republicans, they sick of that guy. Even some of the Democrats are sick of his ass, man. They're just seeing their country go to shit and they're ready to fight for it. But it's too late. It's too late, man. Verse four. Let me get verse three again. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High Spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So, hey, we're starting to see it. He said that one, once these things start to happen, then we're going to know. Yo, yo. It's a lock here, the neighbor. I'm trying to go into, get into the, using the um, lawnmower. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, hey, we're, we're there, man. We're about there. Because this right here. You can't tell me that this is not a turn up right here, man. And you know I'm Apostle to heart. He coined this the year to turn up. This is serious right here, man. This is a real slap in the face to these damn proud ass Americans. Let's see what some of these comments say. <laughs> this person, Bob, says they know the time to strike is now while the U.S. is getting pussified by the day. <laughs> with a weak presidency and with seven weaker voting base. Okay. Wow. Somebody says, so correct, Bob. This country, in my, my opinion, is spoiled. But this country also can be single-minded and tough if led by someone they believe in, not Biden. Yeah, right. This is a wrap for America, man. Bob Babylon the Great is suddenly falling, man. This place is done. It says, these two countries have no respect for Biden. I just said that. <laughs> and they know. He is not only soft on crime, but also soft on, on bad countries. They would have never done that under President Trump. That is a fact. 
This person says Biden needs to be impeached. He's the worst president ever. But you know Obama is still running him. Hey, man. They were both terrible presidents. Obama. Hey, hey, hey I mean, he picked up where Obama left off. They was horrible, man. But hey, the, 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 the Negroes. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, especially the women, they went out and voted this clown in. Now you can barely put gas in your damn car to take your children to, 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 to daycare or whatever. You can barely put food on the tables for their little asses. Them food stamps that they was giving your, your stamps is not adding out what the, to be what they used to be now with this high-ass food. But you went out and voted for this guy. You see? But, oh, don't worry about it. You got Juneteenth. Uh, they gave you Juneteenth at least, hell, I think. <laughs> you know, they gave you a little something, something. They threw you a little bone. See, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better repent because you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's what this is all about. The Lord is, is, is constructing all of this, man, on, on the behalf of you, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the children of Israel, his chosen people. We're in the situation we're in because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. It's that simple, man. But now we have an opportunity and a chance to repent. That's what the good news is about. The Lord is going to come back and kick their asses, man. And we're going to be in rulership. And we're going to rule over them the way that they ruled over us. With an iron damn fist, man. You see? And this is all funny. We Let me get one more. I love this, man. You ain't sitting around Jake out here praying for America. <laughs> I hear... Uh, Praying some damn God bless America. Get the hell out of here, man. The Lord hates this place. Let's get that Ecclesiasticus 25, also known as the book of Sirach, 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my own heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're, we're, we're witnessing right now. You are a lie. You know, so hey, we're 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 the we're that slave generation back on earth watching the, our enemy fall. We're that generation back on earth from the from the time of, of Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls um um Jesus and Christ and all this crap. Now our Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. We're back in the time period. We're that generation from back then that crucified our Lord, man. And goddamn Romans, man. We're back. <laughs> and we're gonna be here. We pray. You know, I pray that I'm, I'm here to see the fall of this man straight to the damn ground, man. And that I'm, I'm beamed up in the chariots, man. That the Lord will have mercy on me. I really want to see the fall fall, the super fall fall of these people, man. Straight up. Damn, the ones that pierced my Lord, man. The ones that, <laughs> you know. But Jake got to get it too, though, man. Because that generation of you wicked ass Negroes are back too. That said crucifying, crucifying. And come on, man. No, we will we, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's popping. But anyway, let's get um. Cause you hey, you gotta see that these things are happening, man. And it's uh, Matthew twenty four, and I'm gonna start from verse three. As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world?" And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the, the Christ, what we call him Mashiach, which just means anointed one, and shall deceive many. Because you got a whole bunch, and mainly, they done that with white Jesus. I, I like to bring that out all the time. With white Jesus, they deceive many. They deceive plenty of our people, these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and they're believing that your Lord, your God, is a goddamn white man. You need to cut that shit out, man. That's idolatry. The Lord is not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. The scriptures clearly describes him as a dark, melanated man, <laughs> woolly hair. You know, bring that out all the time. Have to, because that's a real stumbling block to our people. Dark, melanated man with woolly hair, and it says that the scriptures also says that he's an austere man. That word austere means that he was harsh, rigid, rough. It's not no damn softy, not no soft-ass white guy that, that, that's telling everybody he loves them. He he just loves every goddamn thing. You can you you know love the sinner, but he hates the sin. I'm telling you, man, that's all idolatry. Okay, verse six it says, "This is the point, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. 
For nation shall rise against nation. That's what you're seeing over there. Nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Famines is already in, in play. And he's out here in Sri Lanka. Man, they, they going hungry as hell over there, man, right now. And pestilence. You know they got the, 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 the monkey business on, on deck for you. And earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. You see? As a matter of fact, I was just looking at one of them stories. Um, you know, I'm in my history right now. Where's that? Uh... Oh, here we go right here. I still got it. Where they baby died. All of them just trying to get some damn gas. The, the, the stores are out of gas. Hey, Twan, watch out for that big-ass dog, bro. Cross the street. Somebody big ass pit running the street, Salakia. Big healthy boy too, so I know some he done broke out somewhere. But yeah, it says um they could not save their baby. The human cost of Street Lanka's fuel crisis. See? They can't get no damn gas over there. They're in bankrupt. They're not getting no supplies in. They can't pay for anything. And and they, 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 this is a story I kind of read through it. They, you know, they was trying to get their just get gas. They was going from gas station to gas station to gas station, and all of them was out. You know, to try and get the baby to the hospital by the time they finally did. You know, a little two-year-old girl, she ended up dying. Hell, she was dead by that time. So they, they these these people over here are doing fucking really terrible right now. You see? The street, um, Street Lanka. And it's it's gonna get with this shit coming here. It's coming to a theater near you here. The Americans just don't don't believe, man. Because they've so gotten them proud. See? America, in America, you can go to damn Dollar Tree. Or dollar deals, or even a damn Dollar General, or any you can damn near eat a whole. You can get a whole entire um. You can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner out of even those places. You can go to a vending machine, get a sandwich, chips, drink, pop, whatever. You know, you can you can you know just eat all damn day long. People just eat for comfort here, man. The most obese nation in the world. See these people, you know, in these other countries, they're used to, hey man. <laughs> Eating just once a day. And sometimes, you know, could be a few days in between. But shit, man, in the Americas, no, these damn Americans, man, <laughs> these damn Americans got to eat all damn day. All these fat-ass children, you see them? Man, that's a nice-looking pit, too. They don't look as nice and healthy. Somebody going to be looking for them. Just hopefully that nigga's not vicious. Because we have had some, some maulings. Anyway, yeah, it's like you. But um, yeah, yeah, this thing is getting serious out here, man. So you're you're seeing what's going on. Let's go back and let's get it again. You're seeing what's going on. Wars, verse six, Matthew twenty four and six, and ye and ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. See all this stuff that's going on like that. That particular. You know, Sri Lanka, you know, now America is talking about how humane they are. They're help, they just helping every damn body out. But you think they're going to go and help these people like how they're going to help the, um, Ukraine? See? And, and that was kind of brought to the, um, the forefront of um, a lot of people's attention. They're like, well, okay, um, why is it that you, you're able to go and help these so-called white people so quick when there's been immigrants trying to get in here forever, trying, you know, from war-torn countries? And all kinds of other crises, um, like Haiti, you know, with the earthquake and stuff that happened out there. See, they're quick to help their own people. And they're helping their own people with, with you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans money. Your taxpayer money. They're helping their own. And that's Esau Edom for you, too, man. That's a real goddamn hypocrite. Straight up, man. He's taking your taxpayer's money. And when they, matter of fact, they'll tell you you free. Oh, yeah, y'all free in America, but they'll, they taxing the shit out your ass. If you're so free, they wouldn't be taxing you. Whatever you work for, you'd be able to keep. Considering they, they claim that they don't have, they can't give you reparations. But anyway, that's another one. <laughs> Verse 7 back again. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Because that was a pestilence that that little girl died from. And when you're hungry... That brings on a whole new set of um, diseases, man, so to speak. People around you dying, bacteria all over, all over the place. You don't have the problem. It's hot as hell. 
You know, you don't have the proper water. You don't have the proper food. Man, that's 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 treacherous, man. The scripture says that it's better you die by the sword than to die from um from famine, man. From hunger. It's about to get, I'm telling you, it's about to get, get crazy as hell out here. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. <laughs> See that? All these are the beginning of sorrows. <laughs> Telling you, man, hey, things about to get real strange out here. People going to be, be doing some real strange things for change. A little something strange for some change. Especially these women, man. It's going to, I'm telling you, Brother Malcolm was going into it beautifully, too. Because he, um, I was watching a video with him with this, look appears to be an Edomite. And she was just crying. She like, I'm living out of my car. Things are so fucked up. Just anybody, anywhere, if you could just please give me a job. I don't know how she can't find no job, though, because it's work out here. I, I'm not seeing that. But, you know, but, you know, but what he was going into is, is if you have, like, addictions, and a lot of people do. <laughs> and when it comes straight down to it and a nigga can't get a cigarette no more, all the cigarettes are gone, all the tobacco is gone, just simple stuff like that that Jake, you know, is into. We ain't going to talk about weed and drinks and their other supplies of just getting high. They go, it's going to be chaos out here, man. So, you know, hey, pray to you. How about Shimmy Shah, man, that he will have mercy on you. And that, um, you know, I pray that for us all the time. You know, I pray for the nation of Israel, man, um, you know, to, to have that. That how about Shimei I was shot when I blow out our candlestick or remove his Holy Spirit from us, but you know, to keep us, man, because it's gonna get crazy, man. It's gonna get crazy. But he said that my servants shall eat, my servants shall drink, my servants shall have joy, man. But he says that those that, that don't repent and come to him, they're gonna be hungry, they're gonna be thirsty, and they're also gonna be ashamed. Straight up. It's gonna be it's not gonna be a good look. That's why we, why, you know, why the door of grace is open, you need to repent, man. You need to repent. And that's for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Again, um, we're, we're living in the last days. Romans 13 and 11 says um, that it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. When we first believed, man. Now is our salvation nearer than we believe. You're starting to see all kinds of craziness, man. All the stuff that the Lord just spoke of, those things are happening. So you have to know that we're close. And he said this 2,000 years ago. So imagine how close we are right now. This thing is real live. <laughs> hey, this is the last generation, man. This is this is this place is finished. This shit's not about to go on and, and, and with these wicked ass so-called white people, man, running shit into the ground. They run this place into the ground. But you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and the Son. The Father's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. Or the existing one, Paleo Hebrew, and the son's name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the, the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. The Lord, is, the Lord is not some white guy. His name is not Jesus, man. The letter J was invented like 500 years ago in 1524. The Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago. So you know they weren't calling him no Jesus, man. That's idolatry. The so-called white man beat that into our people during slavery. Straight up. <laughs> and it's time to repent. I'm telling you, you're going to be in for a rude awakening when you see a so-called Negro coming back here. Because that's, hey, that's just, the Lord is a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, man. Deep voice. Again, like I said, he was austere. And he's coming to rule, man. <laughs> hey, we want to be a part of it. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Keep your head on the swivel. Kwame Yashallah.